one. So no long time no see. Uh, finally getting a chance to sit down on a day off and record some videos. It has been since the beginning of May, I think, since I made my last video. So over a month, almost two months. God, that's crazy. Um, basically, where have I been is I got promoted at work. So good news. Uh, we, I was a restaurant manager before, so now I am a manager over three different restaurants. So it's crazy. Um, the amount of responsibility just skyrocketed. There's so much, so much more work to do. Uh, your days off kind of flip around, so it's not a two days off every week thing anymore. Um, it's basically taken over my life, and that's all I've been able to do is just work. Uh, so I don't even have a lot of stuff, you know, being I'm like hall queen. I love shopping. Uh, I haven't even been buying that much stuff in the last couple of months just because this is this is all I've been doing. I made a couple online orders. That's kind of what this is right now. Uh, but I just wanted to come back, say hey. I felt bad because someone actually asked me if I quit making videos. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm watching them. I still watch videos every single day uh, pretty much. But I just haven't had time to sit down, look nice, and make a video. If you all get a video from me lately, it would have been just me in like workout clothes, hair up, messy bun, whatever. Um, so that's kind of where I've been. Wanted to let you guys know that. But of course, I come back with the Candles by Victoria order. Uh, and this order, this shows you how long everything's been sitting here waiting for a video. I placed the order on May 3rd. So it's been here for over a month. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and tell y'all also, she has another sale coming up. And it's a pretty good sale. Uh, and I'm still debating on if I should make an order on some of her new line candles that she just put out that look incredible. Uh, she's doing a 20% off one day sale. It's going from this Friday the 1st, July 1st, through the next morning, this Saturday the 2nd. So it's a very quick sale, but it's 20% off your entire order over $50. So crazy good deal. Definitely would recommend checking checking them out, taking advantage of that sale. Uh, and that's this, this coming week, this Friday. So first thing that I got is I finally purchased myself a tart warmer. Uh, I had one that you can get at like Michael's or a craft store, one of the little cheapo, you know, a few dollar ones that then you put a Ram account on top of. But... Uh, my boyfriend and I are planning on moving uh, coming up now that we actually know where I'm going to be located at for a little while and so we're planning on getting a house so I wanted to start kind of getting some stuff together. So I bought just the black one and this is what it looks like and these ones are really cute. It's a good size because you can fit any of her candles on top of here um, or you can use it with her little scent shots. A lot of people ask what the scent shots really are for and basically you just take one, pop it out of the container you can cut it in half or in fourths and mix and match scents and put them in here. Turn it on and it'll just melt the wax. So it's basically having a flameless candle, which is great if you're in a school, in a dorm, or anywhere you don't want to have a flame, especially if you have kids or pets. Uh, then they're just a great way to use those little scent shots. And then it has this pretty deep, pretty good sized bowl that goes on top of it. So I picked one of those up finally. Um, and those are regularly $14.95. So I picked that up. Then I had to get one for six pack samplers and these are always my favorite way to get candles because it is cheaper. And I just got the eight ounce scents because those are also my favorites. I do prefer them over the nine ounces. Uh, the first one I got is pink and it's Viva La Juicy. And it smells just like the perfume. It has a really, really nice soft scent to it. It's not overpowering where you would get a headache from like a strong perfumey smell. I do really like that one. Uh, the next one is Hawaiian Dream. And this is just pure summer right here in this candle. You get like a pineapple, colada, coconut, just a lot of like tropical fruits in this one. It's really nice. Next is peanut butter and strawberry jam. I had to try this one based off a recommendation from one of my friends. And it smells really good. <laughs> You definitely smell the strawberry jam and it has that sweetness of the jam to it, but then you do get a little bit of that peanut butter in there too. That one just smells like a really nice, fun summer one. So I'm excited to try these. I haven't tried any of these out. They've been sitting here for a month, just waiting for some attention and some love. Just waiting for attention and some love. They've been sitting here for like a month. Uh, the next one is vanilla bean. And I like this one. It's definitely not as strong as some of the other scents scents are. But it's just a really nice, clean vanilla scent. That's kind of what I was looking for on that one. Uh, this one's Leisha, and it is named from X Sparkage here on YouTube. 
And it reminds me a lot of Simply Delicious, where it's like a caramelized pear, cobbler, delicious, cinnamony dessert, like perfect for fall. I'm really glad I got a big size candle on that one. I like that one a lot. I'm so ready for fall candles. I don't know why. I just love pumpkin candles. Uh, the next one is the complete opposite, Cucumber Melon. And this is like dead on Bath & Body Works Cucumber Melon, which was discontinued, if y'all don't know about that. I think you should because I've said it like 12 times so I just can't believe they actually got rid of it. Uh, but that's cucumber melon, really, really good one. And then I got banana coconut cream pie. And this one smells awesome. It definitely has like a cream pie, whipped cream, banana, coconut, kind of cakey scent. It's a really, really nice scent. I'm excited to burn that one. Uh, then I got a couple of the little mini, mini jar candles. And these are I think my first ones that I've actually purchased in the mini jars. Uh, but this is a Blueberry Flapjacks, and I believe it's a 4-ounce candle. Uh, same lid, same opening size as the 8-ounce jars, just shorter. So the first one is Blueberry Flapjacks. And this is a very strong blueberry scent to it. You do get that buttery maple, you know, pancakey scent underneath there too, but it is definitely a blueberry scent. But I really like the way that one is. That'll be perfect for, like, weekend morning. The greatest thing I think about Candles by Victoria is you can honestly trick people with these candles into thinking that you're baking something amazing. Uh, my boyfriend has gotten mad so many times when he'll come home, you know, when he'll walk in the door and he's like, did you make cookies? And then he sees the candle sitting on the counter and he's like, really? Really? Thanks. Thanks, Holly. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> it's Victoria. I mean, her candles are just so real you know you really feel like someone's baking something in the kitchen and it's so funny to watch the boys get all let down when they think that you're not baking it's great um next one's caramelized pralines another little small one and this one is amazing it's one of those ones that everyone has talked about everyone's raved about and i never tried it so finally i was like all right let me see if i really like it and i do it's like a nice salty caramel pecan it definitely smells like when you're walking past a candy shop at the mall and they're making those pralines there. That's what it smells like. Oh, that's a nice fall scent. Okay, now on to all my scent shots. I picked up a lot of scent shots this time. Um, first one is Dreamsicle, and it is this nice orange color. And I think that this was my free scent shot that I got with the order. And it's just like a nice creamy orange vanilla Dreamsicle, you know, ice cream pop definitely smells nice nice light summery scent uh, the next one I picked up was blackberry walnut and this one is like a pretty purple and this one you definitely get a stronger note of the blackberry and then there's a little bit of like nutty creaminess with that walnut so that's a nice really good bakery scent as well uh, the next one is one of say anything Brooks like all-time favorites so I figured I needed to try it and it's fruit loops Mm. yeah I could smell like it definitely does smell like the little powdery sugar in the bottom box the Fruit Loops it has like that and Fruit Loops always smell more like lime to me I don't know why but this one does too it definitely does smell like Fruit Loops that's so <laughs> weird yep that's definitely Fruit Loops I don't know if I would want a giant candle in this but we'll see when it burns because I know she said it's like her favorite scent ever next one's Fluffernutter it's yellow this one's not very strong. It looks like the scent kind of separated on it a little bit. Like, see, it's white at the bottom and then yellow at the top or the wax didn't get colored all the way. I don't know. You can't smell this one as strong. I don't think I would get this one in a full-size candle. But you do smell some of, like, that marshmallowy scent, but I don't really pick up any peanut butter. So that's Fluffer Nutter. Got the dogs running all around. Next one's strawberry margarita, so nice summer scent. And this one does definitely have a margarita lime beachy type scent. It kind of smells, to me it kind of smells like Rockstar soap from Lush. I don't know why. Maybe it's that strawberry, but it smells kind of like a Lush soap to me. Uh, next one is rain, and this one it looks like I cut in half already. This one is more of a manly scent, I would say. It's definitely more of a unisex, clean smell. I don't, it, it smells like it might have a hint of patchouli in it, and I hate patchouli. 
I do like the scent though. It is a nice like after the rain, <laughs> clean, like crisp scent. Um, it's definitely one of those scents that you light when you're like cleaning your house to get you in the cleaning mood. But I just smell a hint of patchouli in there. Uh, the next one is Jacob Black. I think some of these I actually got from a friend when she sent me a gift. I'm pretty sure that's where this one came from because I don't remember ordering this. Whoa. <laughs> that is like woodsy. Woodsy in a scent shot. Uh, this one I know has patchouli in it, I think. But it's very like strong, outdoorsy, manly, woodsy. Gonna go cut down some trees. That's Jacob Black. <laughs> Uh, the next one is Honeysuckle Jasmine. Again, I've ordered a lot of yellow ones, it looks like. Oh, come out. Here we go. Oh, this one I would get a, totally a full size. Definitely Honeysuckle Jasmine. Really nice light floral scent. You put Honeysuckle and Jasmine in anything and I'm going to like it. But it's a really nice mixture together. It's very, like, soothing. Uh, the next one's eggnog, which I'm assuming came from uh, Melissa when you sent me this. It does. I can't really think of what eggnog smells like, but I guess that's what this is. It also smells like a like kind of like a lemony, like some kind of like a zing. It has like a little zingy zest to it. So there's that one, and then this one's Daisy, and it's the Marc Jacobs Daisy uh, perfume scent. Ooh, I like that a lot. It's like nice light floral, but it has that kind of like perfumey scent to it as well. It's not a real strong like alcoholy perfume, but it's just a really nice light clean floral, like really crisp. I like that one a lot. That one is definitely one that I would get in a full size. So of the small ones, the ones that I would definitely want in a full size is Daisy, um, Honeysuckle Jasmine, And probably the blackberry walnut. Maybe strawberry margarita. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Maybe in a small one. And Fruit Loops. I do like the Fruit Loops one. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I like the Fruit Loops one. But that's kind of the cool thing about getting the little scent shots. They cost $2 a piece. They're $1.95, I think. And it's great because you can get all of these, these different scents and be able to just try them out, see if you like them before you would commit to ordering a full size. So that's one good thing about getting scent shots is you can actually try out the scents first. Uh, then the whole super excitement of my order. So excited. Um, and now her new candles kind of put this one, I'm not going to say to shame because I love this candle, but her new candles are all pretty awesome. So this is a candle I've been eyeing for over a year, probably over two years since I've been shopping with her. So yeah, I guess it has been about two years now. Uh, this is her s'mores galore candle and I want to say it's on page six of the candle page and I look at this every single time I place an order with candles by Victoria and I finally picked it up and I'm so excited. I don't know if I can burn it though. What do y'all think? Like I don't know if I have the heart to honestly melt this candle. It's just so pretty. It's so cute and it's just like it's gorgeous. I don't want to melt it. It's just too pretty to light. I'm gonna feel so bad the day that I if I do finally melt it. It's like you're, you're alone in your house and it's dark and your lights all went out and you have this is the last candle that you have and it's like do you melt it or do you sit in the dark and I honestly don't know I might end up sitting in the dark uh, but it's that pretty I'm gonna show you guys up close and it smells divine so this is the s'mores galore candle and this is all wax so this is like a whipped wax like that her marshmallow scent I think it's marshmallow campfire uh, and then there's like big pieces of like chocolate of like Hershey's chocolate bars and over here there's like graham cracker crumbles and I know the bottom scent I want to say is like fudge brownie maybe and then on the top it's even more decorative because it has more graham cracker crumbles it's got more of those little like Hershey chocolate pieces all just tucked into this big giant heap of marshmallow I mean you can't tell me this isn't pretty you really can't smells so good it just smells like marshmallow I want to eat it but I'm not going to so this is her s'mores galores candle um, and I'm so happy I finally picked it up even though I don't know what I'm actually gonna do with it but that's everything that I got from Victoria this time she is again like I said having a 20% off sale uh, this Friday through Saturday morning definitely check it out if you're interested in any of her candles if you're interested in getting a sampler pack 
any of her new lines, her sweet treats and her new comfort candles that look incredible. I know I want to pick some of those up. I don't know if I'm going to or not though because I have so many candles that I need to go through. Um, but definitely check it out if you guys are looking to make a purchase soon. Her scents are incredible. Uh, I know Say Anything Brooke just put up another recent video of all of her new scents for July. Victoria's always coming up with new scents. You can never, ever get bored with candles by Victoria because she has that much of a variety. So, oh, I'm also excited. I need to tell you all this. I'm going to Texas uh, the first week of August. My sister's having a baby um, in a couple of weeks, so I'm going to go out and see her, and she lives semi-close to Van, Texas. So I really want to go and make a trip out and see Victoria. I really, really do want to make a trip out and see Victoria. <laughs> um, so that's where I'm at right now. But hopefully I'll be able to go out there and see her and I can like film uh, once I get there and say hey to everybody. But that's kind of an update of what's going on in a month. I have a vacation and we're trying to plan it. That's about it. I'll talk to you guys all very soon, hopefully, and see you in another video. Hope you all are having a great day and have had a great month. And I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.